Hi, and welcome to Argo. Today, I'm going to be teaching you about some of the technology that's available at Argo. So it's going to be some technology and stuff. The objective for this particular video is to teach you how to log onto a school computer. You should be able to check your grades in PowerSchool. And finally, I'm going to teach you how to send an email from your school account. So if you're sitting at a computer right now, you should see a screen that looks something like this. For those of you who aren't familiar with what Control-Alt-Delete means, you're going to log in on your keyboard. You're going to press Control, Alt, and Delete in that order. When you do that, you should see a screen that looks something like this. It'll be asking for your username and password. Now, it is possible that your computer has been used recently by someone else, in which case you won't see this screen. You'll see something that looks like this. It looks like someone else has been logged in. If that's the case, you need to click the button that says Switch User until you see that screen. So once you get that screen, the question is, well, what is your username and password? Your teacher should have already passed out a piece of paper that shows your username and your password. Now the good news is, your username is just your ID number. If you look at the ID that's hanging around your neck, your ID number is right around your neck. Your password, on the other hand, is going to be your initials and a six-digit number that follows. That's the piece of paper that your teacher should have handed you. So for example, a username might be 190945. There's a six digit number, probably starting in 19 because you're the class of 19. And then your password is going to be your first initial, capitalized, your last initial, lowercase, and then a six digit number. Take a moment, see if you can find that number. Teachers, at this point in time, you're probably going to want to wait and pause this video while everybody takes a moment to log in. When everybody's on the main screen, go ahead and hit play again. At this point, everybody should be on their main page. Now, mine looks a little bit different. My desktop looks a little bit different from everybody else's because this is my personal computer, but yours should be a blue screen with a couple of icons on there. First thing I want you to do is find a browser. You can either use Google Chrome, or you could use Internet Explorer. But either way, I would like you to go ahead and launch a page. Regardless of which browser you use, you should be directed to the Argo High School main page. Now, before we go any further, I just want to make one little comment about your username and password. Your username and password are used for pretty much everything you do at school. It's used to get you on a computer, it's used to get into your email, and it's used to get into your grade. And so it is very, very important that you don't tell your password to anybody else. Not your best friend. You can tell your parents, but please don't share it with your friends. Because if you do, they're going to be able to look at some pretty delicate information about you that perhaps you don't want your friends to know. So let's just keep it to yourself. And as Gandalf said to Frodo, Keep it secret. Keep it secret. All right, let's get started showing you how to get onto your gradebook. On the Argo main page, you're going to want to go to the tab that says Students and Parents, and then you're going to want to scroll down to where it says Check Grades. Go ahead and click that, and it's going to bring you to the login page for PowerSchool. When you get to that login page, once again, you're going to be using your username and password. It's the same one you used to get on the computer in the first place. It's going to be your ID number, and then it's going to be your initials, followed by a six-digit number. Go ahead and put those numbers in, and click Sign In.
Once you get on the PowerSchool main page, you're going to see that it will show all of the classes that you have currently right now. In this case, this student, this is a summer school schedule, so it doesn't show too much, but it would show all it would show your counselor's name and it will show all of the classes that you have right now. It also shows how many absences you have to that class and how many tardies you have to that class. Now right now yours isn't going to show very much because your teachers haven't started putting in grades yet, but you will notice that there are all these different marking periods that are listed across the top. At Argo, we don't do quarter grades. You get a semester grade and you get two progress reports along the way. Those are what the M grades are, like marking period one, marking period two. Those are the first two marking periods or progress reports that we give you. The E means your exam and the S means your overall semester grade. You should be checking your grades pretty much on a daily basis. And the reason that I ask you to do that is because teachers are putting in grades all the time. If you notice that there might be a mistake, you need to talk to your teacher about it. Or if you missed something, you need to talk to your teacher about it. If you realize that perhaps um, you may want to redo an assignment, some teachers do allow that. The sooner you go and check your grades, the more likely it is that the teacher is going to allow you to redo the assignment. The other things I want to point out in PowerSchool, besides your grades and your attendance, is that when you become an upperclassman, you will see that you have a grade history. When you click here, it will show you all the classes you've taken and what grades you got for the entire semester. You should check that as well. You're going to be doing some testing very soon. Any of those scores will be imported here. You can check and see what those scores are, and if you don't understand them, you should ask your teacher what those means. Um, you can also check your balance. So for example, if you have paid for a yearbook or a lock or an ID lanyard, all of those things will be showing here and you can also pay your fees online. Last but not least, there's this link called SchoolNet. SchoolNet is just um, a way that we can kind of track you over four years and look to see if you're growing the way you're supposed to be. Sometimes teachers will be giving tests in school nets. For example, final exams are sometimes given in school net or unit exams. You can then go in later and see, have you met the standards that you were supposed to be meeting for each of those tests? So check, to see, check your profile on school net from time to time and see how you're doing. At this point in time, I'm gonna ask you to go back and click on the home page and go back to the Argo main screen. All right, we're on the very last bit where I show you how to use the Argo email. If you go back to that tab that says students and parents, you're going to scroll down where it says Microsoft Online Portal. And you're going to get to this page that talks about Office 365. Now, right now, I happen to be logged on, but you're not me. So you would click where it says use other account if it doesn't show um, a login spot. The thing you need to understand is that every student now has an email account. The way you would get your email is with your ID number and the extension is at goargo.net. So in this case the student's ID number is 217217 at goargo.net. Your password is the same password that you use to log onto the computer. Your first initial uppercase, your last initial lowercase, and then that six digit number. Take a moment and type those things in and click sign on. When you do that, you're going to come to a page that looks something like this. These are all the things that you have available to you through Argo. At this point, I'm going to ask you to go to your mail, but there are a variety of other things that you can do. You can go to your OneDrive where you can keep files. You can use Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote. All of those things are here, your calendar. If you look in your folder that you were given this morning, there's a very comprehensive packet that shows you how to use each of these different things. For now, we're going to go where it says email. 
Now, because this is the first time that you've used this, it's going to ask you a couple of questions. Of course, you probably want it in English. And your time zone, you want to pick Central Time, U.S. and Canada. Hit Save. And it will take a moment to load everything up. And then you're in. Now, once you're in your email, you can click over here to start a new message. Please keep in mind that your school email is something that is only for school related stuff. You shouldn't use it for online shopping. You shouldn't use it if you create a, a gaming account or anything like that. You shouldn't use it to email your friends about what you're doing this weekend. You should use it to communicate with your classmates about school projects and with your teachers about school related stuff. There's no assumption of privacy on your school email, so try to keep it clean and keep it professional just like you would if you were at the workplace. So right now I'm going to ask you to send an email. You're going to go up in the top left and you're going to click where it says new and it's going to ask you who you want to email. I would ask you to please email the teacher that is standing in the front of the room. Teachers emails are very simple. You're going to put their first initial their last name, so my name is Jill Alexander, so it's J Alexander, at argohs.net. Ask your teacher who's there if they could please write their email on the front board and take a moment and introduce yourself to your teacher. When you're finished writing your email, click send. Later today, you're going to have the opportunity to come back in and check your email one more time. There's going to be some raffle prizes given off at lunch today, and we're going to notify the winners at the end of the day via email. So it's important that you know how to access your email account and come back in and check for um, any kind of uh, email messages. So later today when you check your email make sure you click on inbox and then over here you'll see that there's a list of any kind of messages that you might have. You just simply click on it to be able to read it. When you're done looking at your email you want to make sure that you log out. So go to the far right corner and you'll see the little ghost image over here. Click on it and sign yourself out. Just a couple last things before we finish today. I want to point out that there's a lot of different information that is available to you as an Argo student. So if you're on the Argo main page, you're going to want to click where it says technology. And then you'll see that there's a variety of different resources that are available, either to staff, students, or parents. Click where it says student. And you'll see that there's a variety of information that you're going to want to look at at some point soon. Argo has a bring your own technology policy. That means that you're allowed to bring your uh, smartphone, tablet, laptop, computer, provided that you are responsible for it. The school isn't going to manage it, the school isn't going to fix it, and we're not responsible if it gets lost or broken. Any kind of bring your own technology is used at the discretion of your teacher. So you can't just pull out your smartphone and use it because we have a BYOT policy. You can use it when your teacher says it's okay. If you want to be able to, if your teacher tells you that it's okay to bring your own device, you can look over here on the technology webpage and it gives you information about how to get connected to the Wi-Fi. Simply, you're going to use your school ID number and the password that you always use, you know, those initials and that six-digit number, and that will allow you to get connected to the Wi-Fi. Other things that you're going to find here, many students like to access their email through their smartphone rather than going on a computer. If you're one of those people, there's information here that tells you how you can go ahead and do that. In other words, connect your school email to your smartphone along with your personal emails. I have also included this in your folder. There's instructions on how you can go about doing that. The Office 365 guide is here. Again, you have that in your freshman folder. And then last but not least, and this is really important, Argo has um, 
free access for you to get Office 365. In other words, that um, system that you were using to check your email, to be able to use OneNote and Calendar and your OneDrive, all of that is available to you to download at home if you'd like. And that allows you to sync the stuff that you have at home and at school so that you don't need to have a USB drive or anything else. It's very, very useful and it's free to Argo students. And so the instructions for how to go about um, downloading that at your house or on your devices is here on the technology webpage. So we would strongly encourage you to explore that at some point. Just in closing, I just want to remind you that technology, it's pervasive, it's all over the place, but it's important that you learn how to use it responsibly. So please make sure that your email and any kind of messages and any kind of documents and things that you're saving at school are done in a responsible manner.